Terminal. Wow. Such a strong word. No room for anything. No hope, you know? It's that kind of word that can change everything. It can mean loss, even closure. For me, it means facing my fears. Anyway, I don't really know how to do this. What I should say or think. How I should approach the situation. Dad, I need you now. If there was one time I could call on you, it'd be right now. I mean, God, I haven't talked to her, let alone seen her in, what, seven years. Anyone? <laughs> As soon as I heard what happened, I got on a plane from New York. That's where I'm living now. Oh, that must be nice. So many miles away from me. <laughs> well, the city is where I always wanted to be, so. Do you need anything? That's kind of why I'm here. Yeah, a cure to cancer, please. That'll do it. Mom. I'm sorry. I will be too. Yeah. I have been waiting seven years for you to apologize. Oh, I don't know, write me a letter, give me a phone call. How did the hospital even find your number? Because I sure as hell don't have it. Long story, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, well, we've got a long time. I'm not apologizing for that, by the way. I'm sorry you're sick. You know, Mom, you've never looked better. Oh. Is it because no one's here? No one came to see you except me? I know you just can't stand being around people, but that is something I did want to ask you. How come I was the only one who had to come take care of you? Oh, God, is it such a sin to ask my only daughter? You were the first person I told them to find. Oh, great. Oh, that's what you say to me? Yeah. Oh, 
Well, isn't that pleasant? I am so glad I get to spend my last dying days with a daughter who could not give one shit about me. I knew that your dad and I made a mistake. God, having a kid, raising it only to be dumped by the side of the road, dumped. Piece of garbage is all I have to use. Mom, I can't fucking deal with this. You blame me for not wanting to have a relationship with you? I'm sorry, but how can you be so selfish? So manipulative. And stupid enough to think that I'm going to sit here and listen to you insult me. You were the worst part of my childhood. You're a liar, and that's what you've always been. My dear Kendall, when you read this, please try to do so with an open mind. That's all I ask. I have always had an issue with letting go. When I told you your dad had died before, it wasn't to hurt you. It was to protect you. And now I realize it was also really to protect me. Our divorce was so hard on me. I loved him so much more than he ever loved me. And I wanted him to feel the pain I went through, the loss I went through, and so I took you with me. I didn't have to share you. I regret that now. But I just wanted my daughter. Kendall, I am genuinely sorry. I don't expect you to say things are okay, but I only hope that at least you don't think I'm a monster. In this letter, I've attached my ruby ring that your dad gave to me, and I want you to have it. Red means love. Hi. It wasn't meant for me. Um, what, what's going on? He really only oh, yeah. loved you. I'm Kendall Atwood. This is Atwood. Oh, I love you. Miss Atwood. I'm so sorry. What? Your family's in my prayers. She, she was a lovely woman. 